Okay, um, I'm going to go through real quick problem uh, 7, 4.7 on page 101, and show you guys how to do this in Excel, since I think you all probably hate math probably as much as I do. Um, small company has 20 employees. Six of the employees are going to be selected randomly to be interviewed as part of an employee satisfaction. How many different groups of six can I select? All right, I could use the combination um, formula on page 100, or I could just, like, cheat. And it's not really cheating. I can come over here, and I can open up Excel, and I can come up here right into the formula bar. And I can do it a couple ways. I can type in equals C-O-M-B-I-N. And look what happens is it automatically realizes that I want the combination formula. So before I finish typing it in, I can just go ahead and double click on that. What you'll see right here, um, right in here, is it's going to ask you the number, right? The number is the number that I have to choose from. And I think that I just told you I had 20 employees. Then it's going to ask you, you got a comma, right? So I've got number. And then it's going to ask you to put in a comma and say, how many am I going to choose? I'm going to choose six. I'm going to close my parentheses. And now I'm going to hit the enter button. And what happens right there through the magic of Excel is Excel goes through and calculates for you the combinations, the number of combinations of six employees that you can create from 20 possible people. So 38,760. And if you look in your textbook, that's actually the answer to 4-7. Okay, if you're not crazy about Excel, then you can do it this way. How many possible combinations are, pro are possible? I'm simply going to go ahead and use it, use the formula. So what I know from the question is that the small company has 20 employees. Well, remember that what we always know is that big N, capital N, is always the total number that we have. So in this case, what we end up with is 20 factorial. Oops, don't need that. Because it's the total number I have. I know that little n, this little baby n here, is the number that I want. And in this problem, what they want me to do is they want me to select from, they want me to select six employees. Here, in this part of the formula, I'm simply going to take capital N minus little n. And in this particular case, what that tells me is that it's 14. So I can go through and I can extend this. And you can see why I prefer Excel. Because I'm still going. Whoo, that's a lot. Or, now on the bottom I have to go 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, whoops, and I have to multiply that by, and I'm going 14 here, so, whoops, 21, whoops, I'm a little dyslexic. So, I'm still going, I'm getting pretty quick at that though, aren't I? All right. So what happens, um, and this is one reason why these will make you so crazy, all of this simply cancels out. And now I start to look and see, well, what else can cancel out? Well, I'm going to go ahead and take out the 5 and the 4, which is equal to 20. And I don't know, I can probably take something else out. I could probably, but at this point, you know, hey, what the heck. Um, what I'm going to end up with is taking a look and seeing 
What do I have left over here? Well, what I have left over here is actually just, I think I've got 19 times 18 times 17 times 16 times 15. And that's all going to be divided by the 6 times 3 times 2 times 1 that I had left in the bottom. Which you can see this is why this is so cumbersome. And I'm going to do that math and see what I come up with. Okay, so once I uh, canceled out all of my math, this is basically what I ended up with. And that was the 19, 18, 17, 16, and 15 times the 6 times 3 times 2 times 1. Because you'll recall that up here at the top, I took all of this out. I took all of this out. I decided to get rid, out of, the, rid of the 5 and the 4 to get rid of the 20. I got sick of crossing stuff out, so I simply stopped right there. And so once I did that math, what I ended up with was I ended up with 1,395,360 divided by 36, which is a whole lot more math than I wanted to do. And when I do that division, amazingly, what I end up with is exactly the same thing that Excel gave me, which was 38,760. So I recommend using... Excel for the combinations. If you want to understand the math behind it, there it is. Um, see you guys in class. Um, have a great afternoon.